Hmm. In today's episode, we're sculpting this, which means we're carving this into this. We'll show you how we do it, work some mad detailing magic, recap our sculpture, and dazzle you with breathtaking cinematics. Looking for top five entertainment for the next 40 minutes? Then park it right here and stick around. Hey, hey, good morning, good day, good afternoon, and good evening. Welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, City Sculptor, and you have made your way back to Pangasus Bay. Hey, it's great to have you here And this rainy autumn day. The fall colors are in full bloom. It looks beautiful, but it's a little overcast and cloudy and rainy, but that's not going to dampen my spirits. We're looking out across the subject of today's build, and it's this big, wide open space out here in front of us. This is going to be the new home to our Pangasus Bay Medical Center. And our medical center is going to feature a level one trauma unit as well. We have to keep the residents safe, happy, and healthy. And this is going to be the build to do just that. We're going to drop in quite a few medical assets in this space and really give this kind of a medical campus sort of a look and feel down in this space. I'm looking forward to doing that. Now, there are a couple of other things that we need to tidy up as well. As you recall in our last episode, we ran a tram line up here into the Arabica Valley and it makes its way down through this little ravine down here and then ultimately across the freeway and then just kind of dead ends out here. Well, we're gonna pick that line up and, and thread that into our, the rest of our tram network. We'll figure out how to do that. And then speaking of dead ending, we've got this rail line that I built out here. I put that in way back when I built out my Sports Performance Institute back up on the hill over here. And you can see that rail line just kind of comes to an end. I think we should put a nice big train station down in this space just to get rail service out here to the western part of Pangasus Bay. All right, well, I just threw a lot at you guys. So with all that as a backdrop, let's do this. So the first thing I want to do is I want to come in here and do some gentle terraforming. Not a whole lot, nothing too big, but just come in here and, and smooth this area down in here, this little corner down here, this little pocket if you will, because this is where our first big major asset's gonna reside. And I'm gonna cut right up against that freeway there and then bring this across. There we go, just like that. And that first major asset is gonna come to us from our health and death care tab. Now, it's a trauma center. If you guys remember correctly, we used our Health Research Institute already in our university build a number of episodes ago, but we do have this disease control center at our disposal and I wanna use that one. I'm gonna turn this off and bring this back down into this space here. And I wanna rotate it until it kind of lines up. If you can see that compass rose across the freeway there, I wanna set it up so it kind of lines up with that, just the orientation. And then bring this right down into this corner about as far as I can go into that corner. And then also as close as I can get to that freeway without being too terribly disruptive. And the reason I wanted to do that is as you're coming into town now, driving in along on this freeway here, you got this big, beautiful curved structure that sits right up along the freeway here with downtown Pangasus Bay in the background. Uh, we've got that in place. And now I need to start with kind of some road work. As I mentioned, we're, we're carrying this grid across the freeway here as well that we used in our last episode. And I want to just kind of stem off of that, come down like so. And then I want to take an alleyway and I'm going to spin off the side of my building here and find about where that attach point's going to be. Uh, and so I think I'm going to come out of here uh, just like so at 90 degrees. I want to temporarily move this disease control center out of the way and continue this alley road down into this corner here just for the time being. And again, kind of as a placeholder. We can come in now and grab this building and drop that right back into that space again there and just get it in there again as close as we can. And yeah, I think that's going to be just right. So with that in place, now I can kind of start working on the road network. And I want to come off of this gravel road here again with a three lane one way, just heading straight out in this direction because I want to drop in a couplet. Now this couplet is really going to serve more of a decorative uh, function than it is, you know, any with any regards to high traffic, because I don't think it's going to be a super high traffic area, but I wanted it to be kind of like a nice boulevard, if you will, that that kind of separates the two sides of the campus here. Now, I also want to stem off of this little road here with an alleyway, and I want to come across here, and that was what, 24 meters on this side, we'll stem through to this side, and then come out another 24 meters on that side, and then run a parallel alleyway that runs right down along here, and then comes into that corner. And then that's where we can drop in our second building. Our second major building is gonna come from our university tab. It's education and research, and that's gonna be the medical university. So since the university stole our health research institute, we're gonna steal their medical university, and we're gonna we're gonna drop that right into this space here. Ideally here, I wanna turn off all that bright white. Ideally, what I wanna do is I wanna have this left side line right up with that alleyway there. So maybe it's, um, let's, let's put it right there. Oh, hello. 
A new signature building available. Pharma. Pharmaceutical production. Endeavoring to make the products accessible to all. Okay. Well, that seems timely. That's nice. We got pharmaceuticals now for our for our medical, uh, I guess our trauma center. This is cool. All right. Well, as I was saying, I wanted to make sure that this alleyway on this side kind of comes right straight across to this side and makes its way into that parking lot there. And it appears to do so. So that's nice. Okay. So we've got our first two major assets in place. I like the way that looks already. So let's take a look at that pharma building. Uh, where is it? Where are we going to find that? Unique buildings or signature buildings? Um, offices? No. Uh, industry? Yes. Okay. Here it is. Pharma. And um, well, let's just let's see what that looks like. That's pretty good size. Uh, can it, does it fit in here? Ooh, it, it, would it fit in here if we? Yeah, it would. It would fit in there. Okay. Um, let's just drop that into place just to see what it looks like. Oh yeah. Okay. I like that. It's it's white. It kind of matches the theme there. That's that we've got going on. Yeah, let's use it. Why not? It probably fits in with that hospital really nice. Okay, so uh, let's maybe maybe let's snug it up though up against this disease control center. Ooh, that's nestled right in there. I I like that. That's a that was a pleasant surprise. Cool. All right. Well, now I don't know about you guys, but when I'm near around like major hospitals and whatnot, there's always lots of parking. So let's drop in some parking here. I was going to put it there, but let's put it in here next to next to our pharma building. Uh, what do we have? We've got parking. One of those big parking garages. Overground parking building? Yeah, let's do that. Let's put that out here. Well, this might be kind of interesting. If I put it there, then can I squeeze in a medium parking lot there? I think I can. Let's just see what that looks like. Oh, yeah, and then I can bring the parking garage in a little closer. Let's just do that. Let's bring that right into there. Oh, yeah, that's that looks good. That looks good. And then let's continue on with this, this alley road here. And then I bet I could drop in like one of these little gated small parking lots, right? Like that. And then maybe another me well, maybe another medium one right in there. Yeah, that's plenty of parking now. Okay, cool. And then I'll bring out that couplet road. Yeah, something like that. And uh, hmm, I bet we're gonna have to take this alley road and bring this out at least past here. Well, let's do this. Let's have it come out to you here and then cut straight across to there. Okay, now we can take this little gravel road out. Bang, bang, and we're in good shape. Okay, cool. Now, before we get too much further into this, let's do something about that train over here. Um, we've got this train line that feeds in from downtown Pangasas Bay. It's just kind of a spur line that comes off of the main line there, and it feeds right down into this corner. And my thought was, I want to create like a little train tram station down here, just a, you know, just a connection point where the two come together, because we've got train service obviously running on that train line, and we have tram service, as you recall, that makes its way up here to our Sports Technology Institute up on the hill here. And then it also, the tram service, runs down through our Bent Keel Point neighborhood and then ultimately connect, connects all the way back into downtown. So let's go ahead and uh, let's build that out. Let's, let's drop that in there. I'm gonna cut this back and then I wanna grab a train station. Oh, these are so huge. Okay, so, oh, let's see if I can have, do the same trick and turn off the, yeah, okay, good. All right, just uh, sneak this down into this corner here. I think this would be kind of cool. So I'm just gonna set that there. Then I can come out with single train lines. There, okay, so now we've got our train station in place and then we can kind of figure out what our tram network. Is. But then before we dive too far into that, Again, I want to reestablish that grid. So let's come in here and build out a grid pattern down in here that matches what we've got here with our orientation. Let's start by cleaning up some of these roads that we put in here to start with. So let's go with this, this, get rid of that little piece of gravel there. I didn't even see that. And then clear off those two. Uh, then I want to upgrade, let's see, I'm going to upgrade this little, maybe just draw one right here in the center here. Just a little road that comes straight across like that. And then this one, let's, um, Let's upgrade that to a, uh, yeah, one of these uh, full-blown two-lane roads like so, like so, like so. Yeah, okay, that's, that's good. Now I can draw straight down here. And then let's just run right across the back of this building here. Oh, good. It doesn't break my zoning squares, which is always good. And then I want to do the same thing here. I'll just run it out here for now, just, uh, just as a placeholder. And then now I can come back in and redo that. 120 by 200 grid so let's go out here 200 come up 120 bring that back across and then do the same i'll continue that hey sit tight
Yeah, nice. Okay, and now we can go about the process of connecting all of this back into our original uh, road network that we had set up. Since we're down on this end, let's just go ahead and uh, start here. I'm gonna cut that off and cut this off. And then I wanna come in with a medium road, a uh, four lane divided road, and run this somewhere up through here or something to this effect. And eh, maybe I'll come out a little further. Just wanna give it some breathing room there. Yeah, okay. And then, let's see, okay, so that's a tram road that runs down into there. Okay, good to know, good to know. Let's come out here and pause the game for a second, delete that road, and then start here, and then turn on a curve. I wanna come off of the center point of this, so it's gonna be right around in here somewhere. Yeah, okay, that's good. And then have that bend right down into there. Yeah, like so. And then we can come back in with our tram line, so we gotta reconnect that quick while it's still fresh in our memory there and then now we've got a road that's making its way up you know past our train station past our zoning grid and then we have to connect that in over on this side like and start the game again here too so let's figure out how to sweep this into there i think i just want to continue this road north here i guess if you will maybe to a point where it's right about here and then i can start you know coming out with these roads and bend them in so if i come out with that three lane one way road Yeah, I don't mind that. Actually, I think it's pretty sharp and then it kind of frames up this, this grid pattern that we've got going on here. And then we can, of course, build access here for our tram lines and maybe some parking and whatnot around the rail station. And then let's jump on over to the other side and see if we can kind of figure out how to attach this couplet to this uh, main arterial Lake Street over here. Now, I think what I'd like to see is a little roundabout right down in this space down here. And I wonder if one of our prefab roundabouts will work. Um, very large? No, that's that's too big. Okay. Uh, yeah, this one. This is a, this works just fine. And then that will allow us to connect this couplet, I think, down into here. Ooh, but before we get to that, we have to figure out how to connect this guy into here. I think I see the answer already. Um, let's just kind of come down. I'm going to pause the game again real quick. Disconnect this Amity Street and then bring this road right straight down in there. That's a divided four lane. We're just gonna go straight into, then we can come in here and bend this guy into here. So let's take this 40 and then bend that down 42. I'm good with that. Yeah, I like that. And now we've reconnected our, our school area here. We have to connect this up now. And then I'm gonna take a four lane divided road, maybe come straight out of the center of this one. To there and then uh, let's work this up so it's a complex curve we're gonna go out let's go out 64 bring it up kind of into the center here and then come back in and eh, let's go to another 64 Ooh, that's kind of a funky looking interchange there I like that and then let's uh, just spread these uh, these one-way roads into those I like that interchange, that little intersection there. It's entirely by accident, but uh, I think it looks kind of cool. Now we just got to figure out how to connect our train station to all of it together. So we have to build out our little tram train joint transit station, I guess we'll call it. Let's get jump in there and do that. So let's start by, um, let's make sure we got some smooth terrain with which to work. And uh, just grab this elevation here. What I have in my mind is just kind of a platform here with a variety of tram loops that are in here. So. Let's do that. And then, oh, to get access into that space, I think what I want to do is come in here with a very large roundabout, drop that in there. Yeah, I think that'll be better with the traffic flow down here. And then our access point, let's make sure that we've got this guy here connected straight across. I'm going to turn off this. I'm going to put it right there just, just to connect right now. So now we've got a connection point because we might want to smooth that, that approach out a little bit. And then uh, let's come in here with a one-way road here we're going to toggle all those off and just go right to the side of this the edge of this uh train station here with this bring that out to yeah there's fine i think i'm gonna turn the grid back on and i want to have at least two squares worth of distance here from here to this road here so that's going to come in like that and then uh, let's go with a three-lane asymmetrical, three-lane asymmetric road, bring that down into this space. And I think I want that going the other way. Yeah, because then what I could do is just peel off with an alley road coming out of this one here, and then have this one-way, one-lane road come out of here. Let's see if we can do this. Ooh, that's gonna be kind of cool looking actually. 
Yeah, okay, okay. All right, we'll get rid of this stoplight that's in here, but okay, so this is framing up really nicely. And then let's come back down over here and let's go with a one lane, one way road. Uh, I wanna, yeah, make sure my grid is turned on. I'm gonna come out here with a simple curve. We're gonna turn the grid back off now. Let's just go 64 meters, come out here 59 or well, I guess it's 58. And then I want to bring this down. Let's bring this down to about negative 8.75 and hopefully this will work. Ugh, cross your fingers. And then we're going to have this running from here. Let's just see maybe about there up to there. Yeah, we'll just have that reconnect up into this space here. But now I can come out here with this one at negative 8.75. Run this out, turn off the grid again. Just run this out to about, yeah, let's try there. And then let's do this nice, just gentle bending curve down here, simple curve. Yeah, okay, oop, and then we just gotta connect this guy down over here. With that in place, let's put in our tram tracks. And we're gonna wanna put in, I think, four tram loops in this space here. So let's figure out how to lay those out. And I'm envisioning a long straightaway here. So let's turn off the snap to grid and then just come right into here. And then I need to figure out how to connect from this roundabout up into there. So let's just, um, ooh, uh, I want to smooth out that, that terrain a little bit too. And then double tram track comes out of the center here. If I come up to here, what's this gonna look like? What did I do? I did 100 and, no, I did 80 in that direction. I don't, I don't think I wanna go 80 this direction, but this seems pretty good. And what does that look like? Does that look okay? Yeah, I mean, we can tidy it up, but otherwise I think that curve looks pretty good. And then let's just attach this back in here. Boom, and we're good. Now let's come right off of this curve out. Um, let's go out 32 meters. Okay, and then I have to kind of figure out how I want this to go up here. So I wanna have a straight come up to here. So if I bring this into the grid, yeah. And then go to there and then go, I'm gonna go 16 and an eight. Yeah, and then we'll go straight out of here, 32. Yeah, that's, that should work. And then let's do another, I think it was eight and then down 16. Yeah, that should look symmetrical. Now I can thread this one back over to there. So let's go back to a complex curve. We're gonna come out to here. We're gonna turn this guideline on. We're gonna come into there and then right into that. Okay, cool. And then now I can bend this with a simple curve into just right straight into there. Yeah, we've got our first little loop and you can see this little straightaway here. Maybe this is where they catch the tram and uh, we're all set. I'm gonna build out the, uh, the remaining three, so sit tight. All right, now we've got all of our tram loops set up there. And Kind of a cool looking pattern, a little interesting design. Yeah, I think I like the way that's gonna shape up and we can do some really great beautification later on during the time lapse. So the next thing we're gonna probably wanna focus on is all of these uh, blocks down in here. Now, you can't have a level one trauma center without a hospital. And I think a good spot for that is if I look at this little checkerboard thing here, let's go tic-tac-toe right across there. And let's see here, fire and rescue hospital. There we go, hospital. And let's put that right in there. Yeah, how does that look? One, two, three. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Ooh, you know what? Let's flip this around. Let's have it here. Let's give it the same treatment that we did with the one downtown where we took a road that ran off the, eh, kind of like a little alley road here. Just do that for right now. Spin this guy around. Yeah, like that. And then I can come out with a couple alley roads that, yeah, maybe they come off of this end of this building here and the end of this building here. Yeah, and now I've got, looks like parking lot access on both ends or ambulance access. I don't, I'm not sure what that is. All right, let's upgrade this bad boy. Helicopter pad? Yeah, let's do it. Specialized treatment ward? You bet. Trauma center? Yeah, naturally, you gotta have a trauma center. It's a trauma center after all. That's fully upgraded there. That's nice. And yeah, I like the side, that white building there. That's really sharp looking. All right, let's, uh, let's come back into here now and let's tidy this up. And then let's grab our two lane road. Just come straight out here. Yeah, that should be fine. And then let's grab a little parking lot. Put that in there and then a medium one. 
there. So now it's uh, every other one is gated look there. And there's lots of parking now. Ah, very cool. And uh, oh, looks like somebody moved into our pharma building. It's all yellow and everything. Uh, is there a sign here? The name of it? Pharmacy. Well, I mean, that's not real unique, but hey, you know, maybe it's a generic pharmacist. I don't know. Okay. And then since we've got so many helicopters flying around in here, let's just add a few more. Uh, we've got our firefighting helicopters in there. And yeah, I guess we can we can pretend that those, those, are hel those are medical helicopters. Now, let's see here. What else do we want to drop into this space? There's one large building that I want to put in here. And it comes from our telecom. That's the server farm. If you take a look around here, we've got some kind of yellow orange network coverage out here. So I think we should put in a server farm and I'd like it to go into the space right down here. Oh, it's too big. Well, that's all right though. We can take these two roads out, can't we? And uh, yeah, how does that look? That well, looks pretty good. I mean, I can frame it up with an alley road here. Just come around it. Yeah, that looks nice. And let's bring in some, uh, let's bring in some higher, let's bring in some offices. Uh, let's see here, some low density offices, maybe a six by six in this corner, a six by six in that corner. Just kind of do that all the way around maybe, I don't know. Um, you gotta have one tall high rise kind of in the space, don't you? Maybe a, a four by four is probably smart. I don't think I wanna make it too big. Ooh, wow, that's gonna be really tall. Okay, well, it's gonna be what it's gonna be. So we'll just kind of come back in here with some additional low density offices. All right, that'll fill in nicely. Do we have any other um, unique buildings that we can use? Uh, let's come into here and start with, uh, what's this? Polaris Suites, Polaris Suites. No, nope, let's do that. Actually, it's white, which is good because that would fit in with the theme. And I don't want to put it right next to that server farm. I know what we'll do. We'll put it right down here, actually. This should be kind of cool because what we can do is, what was the name of it? Polaris Suites. Maybe that is long-term, you know, housing for uh, you know, people, family members of, of those who might be undergoing long-term care uh, here in the in the trauma center area. So you know, this is a place where they, they can stay for an extended period of time. Yeah, okay. All right, so that's looking pretty good. What's next? Let's jump down into these two blocks here. And uh, I think what I wanna do is put some commercial in the right block and maybe some mixed use in the left block. So let's jump into our regular zoning here, commercial zones. Uh, I wanna do EU low density here. And let's just go, hmm. oh, let's do, let's start with an EU high density just so we can put something in here nice. Big five by five. Let's see if that works. Oh yeah, that works fine. And then I come in here with low density and just run that along, whoops, run that along there and then up along there. Yeah, that should fill in really, really nicely. And now we'll spin around to the other side here. And if I go two by six, like so, yeah, okay. And do the same thing on this side, two by six, two by six. I'm gonna go two by six here. I'm gonna go two by six here. I'm gonna leave this three by six open. And then I'll just come in here and go two by six. There, okay, cool. So that'll fill in with commercial. And now let's come in on this side here and do some North American mixed use. Let's see what that looks like. Cause maybe that's kind of the, I don't know, the little district where, oh, a lot of the, you know, the the hospital faculty and you know, just a variety of different uh, people who work in a hospital. And I'm not, I'm, I, I, I don't know hospitals very well. So let's put some North American mixed use in there. Can we do a five by five? Does that work? Does, I like that. And then let's just zip right along here. Yeah, and then we can make them nice little walking gardens that kind of makes its way through there. Um, yeah, so I, you know, I really like the way that this is shaping up. It's starting to kind of fill in and have that uh, medical center vibe about it. I'm anxious to see what some of these, you know, like this, oh, Limsa Bar. Well, that's that's always a popular destination. All right, well, this feels like a really good opportunity for us to jump in and do a beautification time lapse. And I've got a lot to do in this space just to really bring some life to the area here. We'll let all these buildings fill in. Um, I want to spend some time, you know, decorating up the train tram station here. Probably drop a park in there. I want to create a custom park in here. In fact, let's just move this guy right next door over here. And then I could probably drop in some more offices there. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, but anyhow, lots to do. So why don't you guys just sit back, relax, enjoy the time lapse, and we'll catch you afterwards where we can recap our sculpture.
All right, welcome back. And I give you the Pangasus Bay Medical Center, complete with a level one trauma unit. Yeah, ah, that was the subject of our build today. And I really love the way that this turned out. It just nestled into this space perfectly, just on the outsides of downtown. And it really gives the city a much needed medical campus. All right, well, let's dive right on in. There's a ton to unpack. And I want to start down in here with our train tram station. You can see our train station down here. I named this one the Bent Keel Junction Station because it's you know right across the road from Bent Keel Point. And it's getting a good workout with lines going into both downtown and the Hickory Heights area. You can see a train that's about to leave the station right now. And you can see passengers coming and going and making their way uh, onto the platform and getting ready to board for Hickory Heights here. Now, cutting across the road here, look at all the people coming and going in our tram station. I mean... I was really shocked at the number of people who are making transfers and they're you know, jumping on trams. We've got four different locations that we're running off to. We're going up to our sports complex. We're running into the downtown observation tower. You saw that. We're running into North Amundsen and then also over into Arabica Valley, which we just built out in our last episode. But yeah, look at all the people that are making transfers here and then jumping on these rails to run into downtown. It's just a, it's just a fun, hopping, vibrant area. And you can see, I kind of get a theme for each one of them. This is the little hickory uh, tree station in here. And then you've got oak tree station down in here. And then back over here, you've got the palm tree station. And then back over here, we've got our birch tree station. So each one has their own kind of unique decor to it. And uh, I just love the way that this turned out. And I love the activity that we're getting. So back into the medical part of our build, let's just start over here. We've got our big disease control center here. And I love this curved building that sits right along the uh, freeway here. Just a really warm and inviting uh, clinical, I guess, uh, entrance into Pangasus Bay. But it plays off of that curved rail line really nicely as well with the curvature of that building. And then across the road there, we've got our big medical university that sits in there. And that's just a monster of an asset. But look at all the cars in the parking lot. It's filling up. We're getting a lot of students that are coming in here and learning at the medical institute. So we're going to have a lot of new doctors, nurses, and EMTs, I think. And then, of course, we unlocked our pharma building, which was really nice. That was super convenient. And I love the way that those colors tie in that blue and the white kind of fits in with this area really nicely with all of our medical buildings in that bright white. This just kind of blended right on in there and, and worked out nicely. And then you've got our big parking garages, lots of parking available. Uh, you can see there's not a lot of cars parking right now, probably because everybody's using that mass transit. And then this big promenade boulevard here. I wanted to make sure I got pedestrian walkways and pedestrian bridges here. You can see somebody making their way across as well. But uh, that, that big couplet down here, this decorative couplet with these bridges coming over the top of it, I think that turned out really nicely. Now, I dropped in these fire helicopters as well, just to give a little bit more chopper activity in the area. I wanted to kind of have this, this area abuzz with, uh, you know, with, with medevac choppers. Now, continuing our journey here, we've got our little commercial district down here. You can see a variety of EU low density uh, uh, commercial shops that are in here with a nice little walking garden that sits right down in the middle here. Just pleasant little plantings and flowers along the way. Some additional con convenience and commercial buildings down here on this other side as well. Uh, was this the Limza bar? Oh, no, it's something at all. Well, it was supposed to be the Limza. I don't know. And then we've got our North American style mixed use buildings. And I just really dig this. Look at this. It's just one continuous wall here that all comes together with storefronts and apartments and so forth. I would imagine there's a lot of you know, hustle and bustle in and around this campus here. And so we've got lots of housing for all of the residents in this area. And then we put in our hospital down in here. I gave it a similar treatment to the one that I had given the one downtown, just putting these big curbs out in front here and just putting in some decorative plantings just to give it a little bit more privacy and so forth. And uh, I just love the way that that turned out. And then we dropped in one of our unique assets in here. And this, ooh, we got helicopters flying through. Uh, dropped in one of our unique assets in here. And we're using this as kind of a long-term residence for families of patients who are having long-term care here in our in our medical community. So they can enjoy a nice, more relaxed uh, accommodations here uh, and spend time with their loved ones as they're getting their care here in the hospitals. And then I dropped in this little garden on the side here, just a little walking garden with some beautiful plantings and so forth. You can see some people are sitting on the benches down here, just relaxing and, and you know, recharging and then getting ready to head back over to the, uh, to the hospital to visit their loved ones. 
Continuing our journey along here, I dropped in some offices down in this space here, gave them all their own unique little uh, gardens and so forth. And of course, I've got our server farm in here, and that's something that we needed to do just because we were not getting great internet reception in this area. And so this really, this really uh, helped to, um, you know, helped with that regard. And then this blue building tied in nicely with the white and the blue. And then of course, I've got our top five design element. Yeah, it's a little strange one, but it's this little garden sitting down in here. And if you look really closely at this design, it mirrors what's going on right there at the front of the hospital building. The same little design here is sitting in the design here on the ground. I don't have any bright red flowers, so I tried to do the best that I could with just these kind of pink purple flowers, but uh, you know, it's getting a good use. You get people walking through in and around the park, and I wanted to make sure that it called attention to the fact that this is our medical university and medical, uh, gosh, it's our entire medical center. So there you have it. All right, well, that's gonna wrap up today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed making it. Uh, now you're gonna wanna sit tight, stick around. The cinematics are coming up here afterwards, and uh, those are always a treat. Now, just a reminder, we're a growing channel thanks to your support. And if you saw something that you liked today, be sure to leave us a comment below. Love hearing from you guys. Always have such great ideas and great thoughts. And if you're looking to support the channel in a different way, just as a reminder, we now do have memberships here on YouTube. You can hit that join button and explore your options, or you can visit our Patreon page. We'll leave the link below. You have four different membership options. And I can't thank you guys enough who've already signed up and supported the channel. Really do appreciate it. Now, also while you're at it, Make sure to chip away at that like button and hammer that subscribe button to stay up to date on all the happenings here in Pangasus Bay, our Grand Vanillica series as well, and also check out what's going on over there in Manor Lords. All right, well, with that, I'm going to bid you guys a fond farewell, and until next time, good morning, good day, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. <laughs>